When I inherited the old house after the death of my grandparents, I thought it would just be another step in my life. The house, located on the outskirts of a small town, always seemed like a cozy place where I spent my summer vacations as a child. But when I finally returned to this house to make it my own, I felt that something was off. The first few weeks passed peacefully. I spent time renovating and cleaning, turning the old dwelling into a comfortable home. However, inside me lingered a feeling of unease, as if the shadow of the past loomed over this place. I tried to brush off these feelings, reassuring myself that it was all nonsense. But even in the quietest nights I heard noises that seemed inexplicable to me. One day, waking up to the sound of scraping, I realized that something was wrong. I thought it might be rats and decided not to pay attention to it. But the feeling of unease didn't leave me. The next morning, I smelled a foul odor coming from the basement. My heart pounded harder as I descended. I opened the basement door and was met with a horrifying sight of piece of rotten meat with worms already crawling out of it. I threw it away, trying not to think about where it could have come from. But at night, when everyone else was asleep, I heard the same scraping again. This annoying sound penetrated my dreams, reminding me that I wasn't alone in this house. The next morning I went back to the basement and found several more pieces of rotten meat. But what horrified me more was what led to them. A creature, resembling a spider but horribly distorted and demonic, stood before me. Its eyes stared at me with abyssal malice, and its claws were sharp as razors. I felt fear engulfing me, not human fear but something much deeper and ancient. I ran upstairs like a beast ready to tear everything in its path. But the creature didn't intend to retreat. It pursued me and I realized that this house was no longer my sanctuary. It became something dark and ominous, and I was just a pawn in its game. I left, knowing I couldn't return. This place is cursed, and the shadow of the past will forever remain with it. I don't know what that creature was or where it came from, but one thing I know for sure was something that should not exist in this world. As I stepped out of the house, the air felt colder, heavier, as if the very atmosphere held the weight of centuries-old secrets. The sun, once warm and welcoming, now seemed feeble against the pervasive darkness that seeped from the cracks of the old walls. Driving away, I couldn't shake the feeling of dread that clung to me like a second skin. The memories of that nightmarish encounter in the basement replayed in my mind, each detail etched with terrifying clarity. The creature's eyes, gleaming with malevolence, seemed to follow me even as I left the property behind. Days turned into weeks, and yet the horror of that place refused to loosen its grip on my thoughts. I found myself haunted by nightmares, each one more vivid and unsettling than the last. The creature, with its twisted form and inhuman presence, became a constant presence in my dreams, a reminder of the darkness that lurked within the old house. I tried to distract myself, throwing myself into my work and surrounding myself with friends and loved ones. But no matter how hard I tried to forget, the memories of that nightmarish encounter continued to resurface, tormenting me with their relentless persistence. And then, one fateful night, as I lay awake in bed, I heard it again the sound of scraping, echoing through the darkness like a sinister symphony. My heart raced as I realized that the nightmare was far from over, that the creature from the old house had followed me, its presence looming like a shadow over my new life. I tried to convince myself that it was just my imagination, that there was no way the creature could have survived outside of that cursed place. But deep down, I knew the truth that some horrors are not bound by the laws of the physical world, that they exist beyond the realm of human understanding, waiting in the shadows for their next victim. In the days that followed, I lived in a constant state of fear, never knowing when the creature would strike next. Every creak of the floorboards, every gust of wind, sent shivers down my spine, reminding me of the terror that lurked just beyond the edges of my perception. I tried to seek help, to convince others of the danger that threatened to consume me. But no one believed me, dismissing my claims as the ravings of a madman. And so, I was left to face the horror alone, to confront the darkness that had taken root in my life and threatened to consume me whole. In the end, I knew that there was only one way to escape the nightmare that had become my reality to return to the old house, to confront the creature once and for all, and to put an end to the terror that had haunted me for so long. 
And so, with a heavy heart and a sense of dread that weighed me down like chains, I returned to the place where it all began, knowing that the final confrontation awaited me in the depths of the old house, where the darkness reigns supreme and nightmares become reality.